Nani? Can I see that again? Please. One more time. I can't believe you just said Nani. Boom! Mm. Stay. Good. 185 pound power snatch first day. That's very, very, very legit. The first thing we're gonna do is, again, make sure that we're holding a hook grip. Okay, it's pretty simple. Stand up tall, that bar should be in the hip crease. Lead with the wrists. It's like we're flicking our wrists. Look at the flick of the wrist. Okay, that's all we're doing. Where's that from? Look at the flick of the wrist, where's that from? It's a song. I know, but what song? I'm pretty sure it's called Flick of the Wrist. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So stand tall, make sure it's up in here, like the, almost the higher for you, the better. So do I want to shrug? Do no, I, it's no? like, look, you'll be here. Like, look. Back and down. Watch if I posture a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. If you bring it back and down, like you're tuck, you end up tucking the chin back and you're like this. This is not strong. We want to be up. 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 And roll this under. Yeah, like we want to be hitting that position when we actually make contact. So you have to get used to that now. Okay. Okay. So now we're keeping the knuckles down and we're just going to lift the bar. Don't bring it overhead yet. Just yeah, lift. not overhead. Just lift. Yeah, good. Now if we can, like flick it to that spot. I felt like when I went like that, I rounded my shoulders forward slightly when yeah, I brought so it just, up. So look, I look, need to keep my shoulders. Like as strict as you can. As strict as I yeah. can. Okay. Ready? Go. Yep. Now go overhead. Good. One more. Mm. Good. We were just talking about the shoulders. When, when you say chest up, watch my shoulders. Am I going here, here with my chest up or just here? Am I retracting? Yeah, yeah, so, so retracting. If and we start to do stuff like this where we depress, yeah. my, this, I get in this position, like just retract and stand up tall. Just retract, retract. stand up tall, up, up, up. I think okay. one of the biggest okay. things with posture is like people go like this, like shoulder blades down and back. Like that's not a good posture. Like mm -hmm. literally think about there's something on your head and you're trying to raise it. That's it, just raise, get taller. And you, yeah. what's the craziest thing is immediately you can feel when you go like that, like getting taller, you can feel like parts of your back light up that you're just like not used to. Let me do this one more time yeah. then. Because when I did that, I was coming back and down. Yeah. So let me, let me just see how this feels because I yeah. feel like it's going to feel easier. So it's like there's some, like a book on your head and you're just trying to raise the book. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. That, yeah, that, that felt. Okay, when you get to that top position, mm -hmm. We're going to take our chin that was back kind of and up and we're just going to pull it down. Okay. So up, keep it up like this. Just go ahead and do it. Yep. Up then through. Yeah. Don't come through too early. Okay. 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 Knock my chin up. Yes. Okay. So thinking yep. a lot, just up. Yeah. Yeah. Hip contact in the clean. It was a little bit, you know, high thigh mm -hmm. hip contact is very tough and it's, it's like very important. People stay away from it because when we say, let's focus on hip contact, they think a lot about stuff like this in and out. Mm -hmm. You know, everything we want to go up, 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 up. And a lot of times when people go up, they can't understand that there's this contact point. What we're going to do is really slowly let the bar come out and mm. just develop that. See this? Mm -hmm. And you can hear the rattle of the bar. Maybe you might be able to hear it through my mic, but. But like, look at how slow I can do this. Like I can go, like I'm just making sure it comes into that spot. Okay. Stand tall first. Stand tall first. Yep, up, up, up. Good. Now bend your knees and hips. Hips. Yeah, yes, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Now let the bar come out. And now we're just going to bring the bar to tap the hips, okay? Mm -hmm. Just bring that. the bar yep. to tap the hips. Now, if you can, you're going to extend the hips. The bar is going to want to go away, and you're just going to pull it in. Yeah. Yep. Mm -mm. High, high, high. Go. Mm. Yes. There's we're almost getting a rattle. Do I want to rattle? Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm. 
Good. Relax. I have to warn you, like, I don't want you to hit your dick. Mm. Okay? No, no. If you, if you okay. start dropping the bar a little bit too low, you can start to run into some issues. You ever okay? deal with tucking? Just tuck it. <laughs> that is, I'm that fully is. tucked right now, bro. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. So now that we've developed that, that uh, contact, we're going to try and develop it into that same drill we did before. So we're here. Contact. Yep, bend your knees and hips. So now you're mm. missing your hip crease. Yeah. Do not miss your hip. There we go. Not bad. Yes. Do not miss the hip crease. Good. Now what we're going to try to do is time that like catch. Mm. Okay. Um, and I remember with the power clean, you had a little bit of issues with this muscle cleaned everyone. Yeah. But what ended up happening and then I watched those videos back. It's like, once it got heavy enough, like you were getting underneath it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it might just help you to establish that a little bit earlier. Okay. Okay. So there's a few ways we can establish that. One of the, the ones that I really like is just like kind of throwing it and catching it. You know, super simple. Just here, jump, catch. It's like, keep it simple. Can I and see then that we're again? gonna, yeah, one more time. We're right in here, knuckles down, mm. or sorry, underneath. Always be thinking of pulling this way. Mm. We're here. And you'll feel that I don't actually want you to do much with your hips. We're just trying to get the feet moving. Still, the hands are doing a lot. Because this represents the third pull, as some people call it, pulling underneath the bar. The okay. hands are doing the manipulating of the bar. The hips are already extended at this point. They've already done their work. So right now we're just kind of like here. Think hands. Said so think hands? Yeah, like the bar. You still want to feel the bar in your hands as you put it there. Because it's the same thing as just pulling the bar. Mm. We're just moving the feet. Okay. Practice that muscle snatch again, where you're just literally uh, knuckles down and just pulling it to your spot. Okay. Don't worry about jumping, just pull it with just your hands like a like an upright row, very strict. So that even that wasn't even strict. Oh I'm just talking about like, literally, like, just, literally stand just stand here pull. and just go. Good. You can add a little bit more speed. Pull. Good. Now try to move your feet and do that same thing. Yeah. It's that simple, bro. You see that? Yeah. It's that simple. Okay. Now, okay. what we want to do is be able to connect the dots from previous drill to this one. Okay. We're here, bar comes away. You have to find your hip crease. Okay. I'm not going to let you get away with not hitting it. Okay. Bar comes away. For now in SEMA, mm -hmm. just keep your head facing forward. Don't worry about in and out on the catching okay because okay. i don't want you to hit your chin or your forehead yeah do not miss your hip crease don't hit low gotcha. if you hit low it's not going to be worthwhile yes be thorough with the hip crease yes good pressure in the toes mm -hmm. don't shift back in the heels so it's gotcha. like we want this balance when we go down to the this knee or whatever mm -hmm. we don't want to be back here because uh. what it where does the weight have to go when we extend to has to come to the toe. So then yeah. that's when we get this in and out bullshit yeah. that we don't want. Gotcha. Okay? So you have to have like, be in a position uh -huh. right here. Contact, catch. Yeah, so much snappier. Good, relax. You got it, man. The same drill, instead of the bar coming away, mm -hmm. we're just gonna go right below the knees. Instead of the bar being here and we go, the bar's just gonna be here. Okay. Okay. And it's really that simple. Like, look at the difference here. Bars here or bars here. It's very simple. Okay. okay. Mm. Good. Thorough with the hip contact. Gotcha. Get it up there. Good. It was a little low. Yep. There it is. Yeah. Flat feet, flat feet, flat feet. So look, They're flat. in this position, when I mean it's flat, is like you're actually oh. gonna create that there. Tension in the toes more. Yes. Tension in the toes more. Yes. Now you're ready to go. Get it into the crease and go. All right, let me let me yep. let me redo that. So tension in the toes. 
Yes. Do you feel the difference in that? Yeah. <laughs> How much more like control you have over the bar? Yeah, that's Not interesting. Not one professional jumper, explosive athlete, has ever been like this. Uh, you know? Yeah, 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 no, no. Your right. power position, your toes are flat, like boom. Mm -hmm. um, another thing too, when you, when you shift the weight towards your toes, you'll feel this pressure in your hands start to pull the bar away from you. Yes. Okay, just fight against it. Okay. Now you create this immense amount of torque. Yeah, yeah, I did whip. feel that in the yeah. back. Like I felt like I was like, ooh. Yeah, so that's why people also shift. So like, this is, I love this. This is like, gets me so going in weightlifting, <laughs> okay? So like, naturally, if I say bring the bar down to the knees with a flat back, I'm naturally gonna shift to my heels because the bar wants to go this, wants to stay wherever the center mass is. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start going like this. Okay, so what if I shift to my toes? Okay, now this is where the bar wants to go. You see the difference? Yeah. So all I'm doing is just pulling it back in. Mm -hmm. And I create this whip. And all this shit just Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. I'm just fighting against it. So like, if I'm out here, this is where the bar wants to be, this is where I make it happen. And then I can just, mm. you get like this, right? You get torque. It's like, now you're playing with something completely different. Now we, we cooking with, with some grease. Yeah. Mm. And these are the things that like jumpers focus on. Yeah. Like in the high jump, creating torque for like the penultimate step. Mm -hmm. This like, this thing right here, I think. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. they're like that. And then boom, you know. Go watch um, some Isaiah Rivera, who you just did the, the video with. Yes. Go watch him dunk. Now we have weight on the bar. And when we stand up, oh man, look at that, how shitty that position is. Yeah. Okay? When you stand up with the bar in your hands, remember this thing wants you to pull you down, fight it to stand up tall, mm -hmm. okay? Grip it hard, stand up tall. Now all we're gonna do is tap the floor. Okay? Nani, can I see that again, please? One more time. I can't believe you just said Nani. Standing up tall, nice and slow. Even balance, tap, up, boom. This was a big leap, guys. We're just, <laughs> in SEMA Power Clean 300, the first time I taught him how to power clean. So this is a big leap, but I, I'm confident he can do it. I like For you guys to go from you know, 20 kilo bar to now doing 40 kilos, like that's a big jump when you're learning to snatch. So just please, please be careful. So stand up, stay tall, good. Yep, nice and slow. Keep going, keep going. Keep going here. Yeah, so you gotta bring your hips now too. Relax, relax, relax. So you're, you're literally just reaching. I was reaching. RDLing it. Yeah, so like remember, this is kind of what we, what we were kind of just talking about. It has to be almost like a squat to get to the bottom. Mm. And if the bar starts coming out, just pull it back in, okay? Gotcha. Good. Tap the floor. Well, you didn't tap the floor, but that's Oh, right. my bad. And you didn't move your feet. You, you, you know, you were moving your feet. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back. Again, go back to, you know, like finding the hip crease, being fast with the feet, being aggressive. Up into the hip, okay? Do whatever you gotta do in SEMA. <laughs> I just feel like jumping is gonna help me like feel. Okay. Good, knuckles down. Knuckles down. And, and stand up tall, up tall. Yes, now go. Hit the hips. Yeah, that was it, that was it. But you, you still kind of missed the hips. I did miss you the still hips. still kind of missed the hips. It's right here. Yeah. Okay, let's Like I'm again. telling you, man, don't f that up. Like okay. get it in there. Up, up, up. There. Now hit your hip. Good. Okay. Try one more rep. All right. Hit the bar. And I know this sounds crazy to those watching. I'm teaching people to hit the bar, but like they have to get that kinesthetic awareness. They have to get that proprioception.
Yes. Yes. You're kind of like throwing the bar now. Okay. Boom. You're throwing it. Then we're going to stand all the way up. Good. Below the knees. Hit those hips. Good. I want you to think when you hit those hips, like float. Right? Hit the hips. Suspend the bar. Like go. Hmm. You got to get more. Okay. 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 Stand tall. Knuckles down. There. Hit those hips. Oh. <laughs> okay. What, what did you notice? Very good. Good. Yes. Knuckles down and go. He's got it now. Okay. Let's go up. Did you put a clip on that side? Yeah. All right. Oh Man, I never forget to put clips on. You, you, you risk your life, but you do you. Stand up tall with <sighs> some attitude. Good. Underneath, knuckles under. There mm -hmm. we go. Let's go. Good. Okay. So I noticed a negative difference there. What did you see? Yeah. So, like, you still have to. Like the same rules apply in all lifting, I feel. Mm -hmm. If you're in posture, take a breath in and hold. You kind of almost deflated before you went for no really? reason. Really? Yeah. So it's like it's, it's, you have a squat. You wouldn't go. No, no. Right? You're here and you go. Okay, it's the same thing. Get it in okay. your hands. You know, here. Okay? Gotcha. Okay. Up tall. Big breath. There we go. Good. So, same thing. Hook grip. Stand up tall, big breath. Big breath. Good. Yes, bro. How'd that feel? Felt good. Yeah, looked good. Bar's gotta hit the hips. Good. How'd it feel? Felt okay. Okay. Something, something there was e, but yeah, felt it's okay. Just, there's a grittiness that you'll start to feel when the bar gets near the knees, mm -hmm. where you can like really start to like loosen everything and get relaxed. I just like, don't think I was thinking of this. I wasn't thinking of this yeah, that one. Yeah. I think that I'm gonna do this one more time in about yeah. a minute. I think I missed out on this and that's let's, why I felt Let's different. just go up five pounds. Th five pounds? This time, yeah. Okay. See. Let me ask you this. So I know like, because obviously this is lightweight for anybody, or not anybody, but this is lightweight for people in your community. Mm. What is, like what do, it, I don't know if you do power snatch as much anymore, but what do you power snatch for like a workout? What type of load? I mean, I think for me, it's like 110 kilos to, all the way up to like, 120 and then pushing like 125 kilos Is that when my like... best was okay. 140 to 143 kilos. So mm. uh, it's kind of like 85% at, at maximum, maybe 90%. And that type of stuff you're working with a single or a double? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, Ensima. Let's go. Time to get serious. Up tall, 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 tall. Knuckles down. Let's go. Ah! Now you can feel where you can add a little bit more effort. That's all. Knuckles down, get it up there. Oh yeah, that was it. That was beautiful. Get this thing where you want it with your hands. Okay. Okay? Okay. Come on, Ensima, you got this. Let's go. 
Good, good. Knuckles down. Stay. Good. Yeah. 185 pound power snatch first day. That's very, very, very legit. That's good coaching, Zach. That is good Thank coaching. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you want more technique videos, just comment what you want taught below. Uh, check out Encimo on Instagram. Also, awesome. you're gonna fucking, you guys just came on the podcast, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and Derek were on the greatest podcast in the world. Oh. It's called the, the uh, PowerCast. Check it out. We'll link that in the description as well. I'll see you guys in the next you video. You just tickled my little pickle when you said that. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>